Today we're going to be going over the body language of Eric Holder as he's under a lot of stress and he's lying. These signs that we're going to go over are very, very obvious. And one note before we get to the body language analysis is one of the vulnerable places for these criminal politicians is right before they get on an airplane. It looked like Eric Holder was confronted right before he got on a commercial airliner, so he could not run. Normally they have bodyguards and they run and they're protected by an army of bodyguards, but it was not the case this time. So let's go into it. We're going to go into the body language because this one is so obvious. It's going to be fun. It's fun for me. When we, when we uh, catch these career politicians lying and we see the stress all over their face and we see the fear all over their face, this is, this is good. This is great news for real Americans. Real Americans who have to pick up the breadcrumbs on the street. We find it... We find it so refreshing when these career politicians who have big bank accounts from and the bankers give them money to lie to us. We, we find it refreshing when we see fear on their face, when we see anxiety on their face, when we see that they finally get it, that the American people are waking up. And this is what I see on Eric Holder's face here. I see a lot of stress and fear. Let's go over it. Okay, so Eric Holder was caught off guard here. He wasn't prepared. A lot of times when these politicians go out to lie, they're prepared with their baseline stance. But notice right there when he's confronted, the tension between the eyes. Oh, right off the get-go, he's not prepared for this uh, to be, for this deception. See how he looks off to the left there? Now quickly on the cheek, the crease by the cheek, by the left nostril, it twitches. He does that uh, subconsciously, he probably doesn't even, he's not even aware of it. So I, I see it right there. There's lots and lots of signs of deception here. Right there between the eyebrows, you'll be seeing that the, uh, right up here, right there between the eyebrows coming up, a lot of stress. The crease on the cheek, right to the left nostril, it twitches. He does that uh, unconsciously. Stress all over this face. Also, when people their eyes turn to the left. When, when he looks to the left, his eyes go up to the left, that's a sign of deception. He's trying to, in his brain, he's looking to find a response for, because he knows he's being confronted with a lie, and he's trying to lie out of it. Our bodies are not prepared to lie, and our face shows the deception and the uh, anxiety. Let's see the clip. Okay, just to re-emphasize the Eric Holder tells, I mean, his face has a whole wide range of tells. I would love to play poker with this guy because he's just not going to be a very good liar. First off, the stress between the eyebrows, that's just too obvious. But the one I like the best is the twitch on the left cheek, right beside the left nostril. He does that uh, unconsciously or subconsciously, right there, that little twitch. That twitch, he, uh, he's very easy. He, he looks off to the left. When you have people who lie who look off to, the left, off to the left, that's a very easy tell. So Eric Holder has a whole wide range of tells. He's lying, and it's very clear he's lying. And that's what body language is about, body tells. Eric Holder has to work on, well, Eric Holder, I think, is now retired. He doesn't have to professionally lie anymore. So that's probably why it was so easy to catch him with these lies because he's now retired and officially I don't think they pay him to lie anymore and um, but when the fact is Eric Holder has a whole lot of tells and Eric I'll give you some tips don't play poker in Vegas because uh, your tells are very very easy to see